Hello guys, welcome to Cube World. This tutorial is actually to show you how to play the game using an Xbox controller. As you can see in the video in the upper right corner, I am showing an Xbox 360 controller. Let me go ahead and go into my Warrior Test and go into my Test World where I've been messing around with this. And just so you can see, right now uh, I have the key binding screen up so you can see what all the buttons are. Let me go ahead and lean over and grab my controller. As you can see, my left stick, I have, you know, W, A, S, D. Oops, I said that backwards. W, A, D, S. And on the right stick, I have it set up where it's actually simulating moving the mouse, like up and down and left and right. I do have it in my options where my Y is inverted. Let me go ahead and actually use my mouse right now and scroll the mouse wheel out so you can see what's going on. I have it configured so that the right trigger, as you can see, will press the left mouse button, which will make me swing. Or if I press the right bumper, it will use my shield. And of course, you know, as you can see, you know, I have A set up to press 1, B set up to press 2, X set up to press 3, and Y set up to press 4. Right now 4 is doing nothing. And I have pressing start will use your heals, which I only have two, so I'll use that later when I'm becoming danger. Pressing the left trigger will jump, and if you hold it down, you will indeed climb because of the way I have it configured. That if you just like quick press it, nothing happens, but when you hold it down, it simulates holding down the control button, which is climb. So, and it just works flawlessly, no problem. Start, oops, sorry, uh, uh, right, oops, what button is it? Oh, yeah, clicking in the left stick will make you dodge. I used to have it on start, that's why I just screwed up and used two macro, uh, two of my freaking heels there like an idiot. But uh, let's just go ahead and attack this elf uh, apaca. Actually, also to show you, if I hold down the X button on my controller, it will bring up the inventory. So I can still move the mouse around. So let's just say go to this club. And I'm going to press the right bumper, which will switch it to that. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. Now then, you can see I can go ahead and go bam. And just attack this guy if I do it properly. Apparently I can't attack this guy. There we go. Dodge. 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 Right now if I wouldn't have used my things I could run, be running this way and be like, okay, cure yourself. But I messed up because I used up all my freaking gears. Now we go ahead and revive. So let's go ahead and, well, we go ahead and press the left bumper and hold it. And there we go because, as you can see, I have it set up. You might be able to read it in the actual expatter program that pressing, quick pressing it will pick up items, which is E. And if you hold it down, it will do the interaction thing. So right now if I quick press it, you can see nothing's ha happening. But if I long press it, then it interacts with it. So, cool. So let's go ahead and jump. What is this? You. You are... Oops, I can talk to you. What do you have to say? Some rocks can be destroyed with bombs. Okay, thanks for telling me that. And of course I would have it said, oh, hello. Well, I died. Oh, no, 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 run, 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 run. Ah, keep on that hill. Run. Oh, my God.
Okay. Now I need to a safe spot. That was... Oh, God, is it climbing after me? Oh, my God, that's... Ah! The pole just climbed. Run! Run for your life. Kids, I was going to say, I have it set up right now that pressing down on my D-pad would use my flashlight if I had one. And pressing up, of course, would press, as you can see there, on the thing, F would be light. Actually, it does work, see? Light, 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 light. And, of course, pressing up would call my pet. So, I think that's, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to think what else I want to say. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have used up all my potions so I could have showed you how that worked. But some of the stuff you still have to use right now, you can always configure it. Let me go ahead and switch actually to my uh, right monitor so you can see exactly how this program is configured. And actually, we will do that after a quick commercial break. Okay, as you can see, you may hear a loud truck in the background. I am actually showing you my right monitor. You can see the, let me move that over there. You can see here is the XPadder program that you've been seeing in my video. You can see here, I think it's pick up and interact. If I click on that, you'll see the way I have it set up under advanced is I have it set up with my little text document reminding me what to do. You'd have a hold, a hold zone, for you know 0 0.02 seconds which you can get that just by adjusting these things so you could say you can so you'd say hold for two release for three press the letter that you want to press and then air hold for 0.3 press the other letter you want and then release it if you don't add this release at the end it would pretty much be saying like it would um, I think continuously pressing this button instead of just pressing it one time. Same thing, you know, this pretty much all it is really is just, like I said, simulating clicking the right mouse button. This, I did have to change my mouse settings. So you can see here's what I have my horizontal and vertical set at because by default it was way, 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 way too fast for me in the game. I still had it set up from other games where I had tab and shift tab on my left and right d-pad. Um, see I had the map set up which pretty much is just the letter M. Hopefully you can hear me because I'm talking looking over at the other screen. Um, so yeah it's pretty easy. I will include my cube world dot expatter profile in the description of this video. And if I update it in any way, I will make sure I update it to whatever I'm currently using. Uh, make sure you check out my Cube World Let's Play. Once I start that, I will be using my gamepad throughout most of that Let's Play. So hopefully you can see how the game, uh, the gamepad is working for me. And as I optimize and configure it to my liking, you know, like I said, the good thing about Xpatter is you can customize it however you want so let me go back actually to the gameplay let me move windows back where they are and switch back to cube world and i'm just going to go ahead actually and exit out let's go back to the start menu let's start a new game let's create a new character i'm still have to use my controller for this let's go ahead and just do a goblin female mage uh, oops, me, whoa, hello, mage test, 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 great, let's go my test world, okay, this should work the same way, let me zoom the camera back out, I don't know why it starts you so far zoomed in, let's test this out, so it should just be able to go,
cool. So that works again, so like I said, I'd be running away here. I'd go ahead and hit the start button, start carrying myself. Let's go ahead and jump and climb this. So yeah, like I said, it works when we go ahead and actually quit out, make sure this does work with all the classes. It should, it would make sense it would. Start, another new character. Let's go ahead and try, let's see, a warrior, ranger, mage, rogue. Let's just go ahead and try the ranger. Ranger, test, sure, I spelled that completely wrong, whatever, don't care. Okay, Ranger should probably work the same way. Like, why is the camera always zo start so zoomed in? Okay, and single shot. Other thing I need to test is if you hold it down on the control on the regular game, does it rapid fire? It does. I need to configure it so holding down the th stick should. It does. Okay, so it still does that. And same thing with this. Is this? Well, it charges up, doesn't it? So you can still hold it down just like you can normally in the game. Okay, cure myself. Oops, that's not the cure button, that's the cure button. So yeah, glad, hopefully you enjoyed the cube world thing, and happy cube worlding. Thanks for watching. Bye.